Well, hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. This is actually a very big moment in Shadow's history, and we are really excited to share with you the DR920 pistol, Duty Roll 920. Okay, why is this special? Well, for us, it's really symbolic. Uh, it's symbolic in the sense that it is a representation of the place that our brand is going, and that is toward the true hard use in a holster every day working gun class of pistol. We have been excited to see our presence grow in the law enforcement space. We have guns that are uh, being carried every day now to protect people's lives, and not just in the EDC world, but also again in the duty world. Uh, and so the 920, the DR920, is the embodiment of where this brand is going, and it's the perfect fit for those applications. I think it's worth talking briefly about our history. This is this is kind of important for those of you who don't really know who we are. Uh, we did start around 2016 as, a, as more of a custom parts company, developing parts for existing platforms in the market. I transitioned the company quickly toward a production gun, and by 2018, we were heads down designing the MR918 pistol, uh, which debuted in January of 2019. Uh, huge market reception to that gun, and it really showed us that we had something as a team. We had a vision that the market was responding to, and we carried it forward from there. The MR920 was released in 2020. Uh, kind of all the lessons learned of the 918 captured in one pistol. But again, this is a compact class of handgun geared more toward the EDC type application, maybe home defense maybe not optimal for a true duty gun. That's what the DR920 is, and that's really why we're here today uh, telling you about this new product and kind of explaining the larger picture of our product line. I do wanna make a couple comments too, just about our company. I think it's, it's important to understand this. So all of us came to this as end users first. We were shooters first. Uh, we have actually uh, a lack of gun industry experience in our company in many ways. We were manufacturers, we were shooters, we were engineers, and we all had a really clear idea with, about what a gun should be and how it should function. Uh, and so that kind of perspective plus some innovative thinking is what's brought us to this moment. Uh, we do a lot of in-house manufacturing. We're gonna talk a lot more about that a little later in the presentation. Um, but that philosophy of common sense designs for shooters plus manufacturing plus quality and ultimately plus excellent customer service is really what has formulated the version of the brand that you all you see before you now. I wanna talk about design philosophy because I think, again, that's really what you're, you're buying into if you choose a Shadow Systems weapon. You're buying into a design philosophy that in many ways is kind of different from what else is out there. I thought it'd be helpful just to sort of divide this into a few simple quadrants. So we have kind of reliability and quality in the central axis running north and south, and then we have this what we would call shootability element. How easy it is, is it to hit targets quickly under stress? How accurate is the gun? Uh, that's kind of this left and right axis. Uh, so the typical stock gun, your striker fired production polymer frame handgun from another manufacturer, um, I kind of place that in this top left quadrant. So, you know, these are reliable guns, they do a good job, but they're not necessarily very easy to shoot out of the box. And that's why there is such a huge ecosystem of aftermarket parts out there. Everybody buys that stock gun and then they want to put different sights or a different trigger or whatever to make it more shootable. And that's why when I, when I place those stock guns on the, uh, on the chart, I put them over in the less shootable category because generally that's true. Um, down here we have kind of the really low cost options. They're probably not very reliable. They're probably of lower quality uh, and they're probably difficult to shoot. Uh, but the interesting quadrant is kind of that bottom right there. So that's where we see what I might call the race guns and custom guns. Uh, these are guns that are of probably um, fairly high quality in terms of manufacturing, but maybe not necessarily the reliability being there. That's kind of where they tend to get dinged, is you might have a really wonderful gun that's easy to shoot, uh, probably very expensive, but not necessarily the most reliable gun. You'll hear it, people will say, I bought this you know, race gun and I love shooting it, I love taking it to the range, but I probably would never carry it. So that's not where we wanna be either. Where we wanna be is in that top right quadrant, right? That's the high reliability, high quality, 
and easy to shoot. We want a gun that is, is going to meet your expectations when you're scared and it's dark and you know, you're in fear of your life. We want to have that level of reliability, but we also want to have that gun be one that's really easy to shoot. And so that's where Shadow Systems designs our products. Uh, why the full size now? Well, it's, it's the logical place to go for us, in my opinion. Three years ago, I sat down in front of the board and I said, you know, we're going to release this product into the market. It is optimized for the tactical world. It is every bit as good as all of the incumbent brands out there who build guns for law enforcement or for military. Um, but I didn't know if those segments of the market would respond to it. I didn't know if they would kind of have the courage to depart from the norm and choose Shadow Systems, a, new, a newer brand. Uh, I'm happy to say that they did. So we do have a growing presence in those places. We, we recently uh, set up the Shadow Systems Defense website where agencies can come in and set up a, their T&E request, testing and evaluation. And we've been kind of overwhelmed with submissions, right? So there is a willingness to adopt this gun. And we already are with the MR920 pistol. We already are on approved lists and even issued in certain uh, agencies around the country. So with that in mind, we said, okay, the next product needs to be built just for those people. That's what the DR920 is. Duty Roll 920. It is a gun that is optimized for that part of the market that carries it every day for work. So let's talk about the gun. The gun is, uh, the gun is great. Uh, we've spent a lot of time shooting it now. And it is clearly, for me, the flattest shooting, uncompensated handgun I've ever, I've ever run. And that's really what we want, right? Fast, accurate shots at close range. Fast follow-up shots. That's what that frame, that's what that setup gives you. So what is it about the gun that lets you do that? Well, we've got uh, you know, this, this philosophy of design for pistol frames that places them very low in the hand, that provides double undercut so you, your, your support hand can get really high on the gun. All of that means that the gun gets lever less leverage on you and recoil is flatter shooting, is easier to control. The textures that we put on the gun, that we wrap all the way around the grip, that's a really important part of making these guns more shootable. We do, of course, incorporate the new multi-footprint optic cut. So this is Shadow Systems patent pending optic cut, also on the MR920 pistol. Uh, what does it do? Well, it gives you a direct connect ultra strong mounting position for a variety of the real serious optics out in the market. So any optic that you might seriously consider for personal defense or protection or duty, uh, this optic system will fit it and it does it without little tiny screws, without intervening adapter plates. It is directly connected to the slide with the strongest screws in the industry. So that's what that optic cut does for you. We, of course, have a serration pattern that is directional. That means the gun comes out of the holster fast and smooth, but is very aggressive when you're operating it. Uh, we, we have a flat face trigger, which gives excellent feedback at reset, makes the gun really easy to shoot accurately, in my opinion. Uh, 17 plus one capacity, because this is, of course, a full-size gun. The backstrap system is really cool. Uh, if you're not familiar with the backstrap system, we are changing not the shape or the size, but the angle of the grip. The angle of the grip is what defines how the gun points. So if you're used to a Browning High Power or a Smith & Wesson or a 1911 or whatever, you can find a, a back strap to put on your pistol that will make that gun point the same way. That's really important. We want that gun to point what, in the same way that you're used to now. We don't want you to have to relearn that. We have a detachable magazine well. It's included in the box, right? It's part of the package. Uh, and then, of course, the compatibility element is really important. So these guns are compatible with existing duty gear that fit, fits kind of the Glock family of handguns. Let's uh, now hand over to Ryan. Ryan is our chief operating officer. I want him to walk through kind of the manufacturing improvements and changes we've made over the last uh, year. Really, this is a key part of our evolution as a company. And, uh, and then I'll come back and close out to discuss the product line a little further. Ryan? Thank you, Trevor. Really excited for the opportunity to come on to Shadow in 2020 to lead the manufacturing growth that's required to meet the tremendous market demand that has been created by our firearms, starting with the MR918, then following with the exponential growth that came with the MR920, the MR920L, and now the DR920 moving into 2021. That growth has really been fueled by several factors, but most prominently, the reception in the marketplace to the firearms uh, that have led that growth starting again with the MR918. In addition to the products themselves, we do recognize that there are other market forces at work 
Uh, first, the tremendous increase in first-time gun buyers, and also an increased focus on personal security in 2020. With that, we must be able to grow our manufacturing output to meet that demand and to be able to meet our customers with the products that they want. We're really entering into kind of the late stages of an exponential growth in our manufacturing capacity and our firearm shipments. We are looking at a growth year over year of approximately 10 times the firearm shipments that we had achieved in 2019, which is a significant amount of growth. We're going to accomplish that without compromising quality and still meeting customer expectations by a, a strategy that's really centered on and focused with vertical integration or the bringing in-house of manufacturing technologies and manufacturing capacity that is somewhat unique to our company over other products in the marketplace. In addition to that, we are also putting an extreme focus on hiring the right people, as Trevor mentioned earlier, looking for those employees who are first and foremost firearms enthusiasts, but also those that have experience in the manufacturing industry that can bring in best practice and can bring in experience that we can use to grow and do something different than what's been done in the firearms industry before. In addition to that growth and to support the vertical integration, there is a need for a tremendous amount of investment, which we have made. We've invested millions of dollars in capital equipment over the past year, focusing primarily on finding and embracing the highest quality equipment and the newest technologies that are available to the manufacturing industry, firearms or otherwise. We have wholly embraced injection molding, we have wholly embraced robotics, and we have integrated to the greatest extent possible uh, fixtures and tools and technologies end to end in the production space to be able to ensure that that quality is present. And with quality, we have also focused tremendously on growing the quality team and creating an end to end quality philosophy that starts in our supply chain with our supplier partners and with our processes to it and goes all the way through the manufacturing process and brings us to the end where we ship and then service our products through customer service to the customer. With that, I'll turn it back to Trevor to provide an overview of the product line. Thank you, Ryan, I appreciate it. Uh, I wanna talk now about the product line. I know if you're new to the brand, you might not be sure how all these things fit together. And so we're gonna start here first by just kind of these three categories. So the MR920 is the flagship product. We've talked about it a few times. In our opinion, it's the flattest shooting compact handgun out there, 15 plus one capacity. We call it MR multi-role because again, it works well in a, in a duty capacity, but can also be carried EDC, home defense, et cetera. Uh, so that's kind of the do it all gun, if you will. Uh, the 920L is just an interesting evolution of that pistol. So uh, it features a longer slide. So you, now you get about an extra half an inch of sight radius, makes the gun a little easier to control. Certainly this, the longer sight radius helps with accuracy. In my opinion, the 920L, MR920L is kind of the, uh, the perfect carry gun since if you carry IWB, the longer barrel doesn't really matter. So, uh, so that's, that's kind of the 920 and 920L. Realize same frame, same trigger, same internal components. The slide is just longer on the 920L. Uh, then we have the DR920, which of course is the gun we're talking about now. True full-size handgun, four and a half inch barrel, 17 plus one capacity. Uh, optimized really for duty or kind of outside the waistband holster use. Now, I want to explain further how each of these products break down. Fundamentally, when we talk about MR or DR, the lower half of the gun is going to be the same within that product category. So the MR frames and triggers are the same. The DR frames and triggers are the same. The difference is the slide machining. Okay, so the slide machining is what differentiates one version from the next. Uh, within the MR category or the DR category. What are the slides we're talking about? We have the combat slide, which is kind of the most basic version. It, it lacks some of the additional machining of the elite slide, certainly has front and rear serrations, but there's no pocket cuts, there's no window cuts, there's, there's no top serrations. In its most basic form, it's just a rear dovetail without any, uh, uh, any optic cut, although the combat optic adds the, the shadow system's optic cut to the slide. And then lastly, we have the, the uh, Elite slide, which is the premium version, which includes kind of everything we have to offer, weight optimizing window cuts, top serrations, optic cut, and it's sort of the premium top of the line version of the slide. So there's the MR920. You can see the variations of it there. Again, combat, combat optic, and Elite. 
We also have variations in terms of barrel. You can order it with or without a threaded barrel, different finishes, flat dark earth, etc. But certainly many versions of the MR920. 920L, like I mentioned, there it is. So we have that beautiful elite slide available with different colored barrels, threaded and unthreaded. Um, but it does not have the combat versions of the slide. It does not have either the combat or the combat optic. It's only in the elite version. And then lastly, we have the DR920, which we've introduced today. Um, given where the market is going, we are choosing to do them uh, only in the optic cut variation as of now. So, so that gives you the combat optic and the true fully loaded elite slide only as of right now. It's been a really great ride to get to this point. I'm very thankful for those of you who have chosen to watch this. We didn't have the opportunity this year to really meet anybody in person. So it's great to get this message out and, and certainly introduce the brand to those of us or those of you who don't know us yet. Um, regarding the DR920, that's really why we're here. Uh, we are looking at uh, the February timeframe for these to be out in dealer's shelves. So just a few weeks from now, the DR920 will be in market. All right, as always, we are a very uh, responsive, very available company. You know, if you have questions about what we're doing or about our product, or if, certainly if you're interested in trialing one of our products, if you're part of an agency, uh, be sure and reach out to us.